Oh, 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 sunny and 75 guys. What's up? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. If you haven't already done so, let's leave some comments. We need more and more comments. That's, that's all I care about. And bird poop. Who wants it? Go for a lick. What do you need? Oh my God. Every time I open this garage door, blown away. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's been two weeks, I think, and it's still so clean. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, I love those box ARMs too. And I can't wait to test out these studded tires with the Bull 8 rims on this weapon. Obviously in the winter when the, there's ice. And uh, yeah, I'm, I've been working with ECD. We're designing a wrap right now. And let me tell you, it is A1 top non steak sauce. Hands down, like you guys are gonna freaking love it. So, and then obviously we have that skit of parts going on and then we have another skit of parts coming, so. Oh, it never ends when you're a YouTuber. It's, there's no days off. You're always working on something. You're always working on the next project. So uh, we're gonna do some riding today. I'm gonna take my dad for a rip on this thing. And uh, yeah, I haven't rode my dirt bike in 11 months, so it's time, but I need some gas. So I'm just grabbing a jerry can. I'm gonna run the gas station and run back and we'll do it. Let's go, here we go. All right, where are you? Wow, what do you, this machine. What do you think of the Freshie? Well, it looks pretty new. <laughs> I mean, there is no dust or anything on it. It looks like it's right from the factory. Well, yeah, it has been washed once. Obviously, when you get it from the factory, there is a bit of a dust from Mexico on it. So, so it came from Mexico. Yeah, yeah, it was covered in red dust. And how did you get it? Because I, I've understood that there's a shortage on all these things. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I'm not too sure. I think a lot of people are buying Defenders and like the workhorses right now. So the Mavericks. Uh, I don't know. I was pretty lucky. Like couple dealerships quoted me 10 to 14 months and I went to Lockhart's and they got it in in a month and then another probably three weeks for the computer. Mark, I think you have some pull. <laughs> <laughs> I may have emailed a few people and tried to pull some strings. So I don't know if my name got up on the list higher, but I'm just glad it's here because now we can start the build. The wrap is being worked on right now. So. And Mark, speaking of higher, this looks higher than the last one. Yes, yes, it is higher. It's higher and wider. And now is that something you've done by custom? Or? No, this is completely stock. Ah, okay. 100% completely stock. I haven't touched anything yet. Even these? So, yeah. So, before the DS uh, didn't have these, they were just built into the shock. Ah. This is the XRS, so it's um, 72 inches wide. The last one was 64. Uh, it comes with the adjustable shocks, so these are electronic, so I can switch them on the fly. Oh, wow. So you can go soft or hard. Um, it comes with 32-inch tires with the beadlock rims. Apparently, they changed it. They don't put beadlocks on the DSs anymore. Um, my biggest favorite part is the retractable seatbelts. So before, it was just like a car seatbelt. Now, this is a retractable five-point harness. That so comes. what that means is if you stop hard yeah it's good the little weight should go forward and lock it in exactly should. but <laughs> but when i'm sitting there at least i can lean forward you know if i need to change anything because uh, before with the harnesses i could barely reach the uh everything and you can turn around and stuff so and then yeah it comes stock with a skid plate and a roof so before i had to buy those and uh yeah and so these holes that are here is that for just like if you want to that's just vents tie things down or it's actually yeah. vents is yeah it? i actually i usually tie uh tie a bend to the back and i just put it through there i've never had an issue okay but then obviously the engine is under here so it looks right. out. so it's kind of like vents and tie down holes or whatever exactly so and what's behind here is this just that's just an air box that's okay. where the air goes in so the air goes in right there okay so that's for the clutch and air intake so i'll go for a rip sure let's do it we'll just go for a, a light medium run because you just had a little procedure and a little sore but i still want to do this you still want to go for a rip? okay uh i think we should fire up the potato gun too let's let's shoot a fireball real quick okay. how do you start this thing keys in it maybe you have to have your foot on the brake because or at least in the apparently it doesn't start in neutral folks <laughs> All right, let's uh, shoot the potato gun. Got my torch. Got my moto gear on, ready to ride. I haven't used my new FXR gear yet, so it'd be nice to test it out. Obviously, I don't have my boots on yet, but we're just gonna do a quick little fireball for you guys. So this is all air. It's the safest way to do it. I put about 100 PSI in it, and then I put a little gas in it. That's actually gas mixed with oil. 
uh, for the school deal, so it works just as good, just smokes a little bit more. And Mark, tell the story about the very first potato gun. I don't even remember. Remember we uh, got the instructions off the internet yeah, or something? Yeah, we got the instructions off the internet, and it actually worked pretty well. And we haven't changed the design since. It's so, only 15 years old, so I think this is the third or fourth one now. And every time I put gas in it, I always put a bit of oil in it after because it dries out the seal in the uh, in the latch there or in the valve. So on that, hold on, let me turn this off. Yeah, my last one wore out pretty quick because every time I put gas in it, it dried out the rubber in here, and then it got to a point where I couldn't even turn it anymore. So now I just dump a bit of ounce of oil down it, and she's good to go. So let's uh, put some. Nice safe fuel on it and we'll let her fly. Okay. Where are you going to shoot this thing? Uh, that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just worry about the house a little bit, oh, right? Yeah, she'll be fine. I've shot her hundreds of times up here. Yeah. And that's just like an oil and a gas mixture. Yeah, there's a bit of oil in it for the snowmobile, that's it. Okay. So. And you're up there, and then I basically just put a rag in the end, let it on fire with my little AliExpress torch, and we're good to go. So it's a little bit like a Molotov cocktail. Maybe one. It's like a super fast flamethrower. Okay. So I'm, I'm not sure without the Molotov or without the cocktail. <laughs> yeah, without the cocktail. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this. Okay. It's probably good, eh? Sure. Now, you put something in it to shoot? Like there's, a potato? Nope, there's just gas in it. Oh, okay. You're probably going to want to stand back there and put her on wide angle. Okay, it's on wide angle. Okay, you ready? It's 0 0.5. Okay. Oh, my God. Gee whiz. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! And that's lit on fire. That's still safe, Mark. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know my thing, we Let's have to be safe. We gotta be safe. Yeah, it's just a little remnants at the end. Okay. The driveway's up there. Ah! <laughs> just let it burn out. Okay, as long as it doesn't come close to this thing. Yeah, she's used anyway. Okay, just let her go? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, let's uh, take the take you for a rip of the Maverick, then we'll hit the uh, dirt bike track. First time you've driven this? This is the third time I've driven it. There's only 3.9 kilometers on it. And yes, it came with zero kilometers on it. So it definitely is a lot smoother to take off. Before it made the clutch would engage, and it was super jerky. So I'm gonna fix the driveway here. She washed out again. Okay, well that's a good test for the uh, yeah, suspension. So yeah, 2x4, four, 4x4, four four, I can lock the front hip, so it goes full 4x4, four four, and then there's your suspension, so I can go full, so it actually raises up a little bit when you hit that. Okay. Is there a chip and end uh, key? Yeah. Isn't that pretty wild? Pretty wild, and I actually saw it from over in the house. 
It Sweet. was so loud that my hearing in my right ear went out for the rest of the evening. Jeez. You said it was still ringing the next day. Oh, it was still ringing the next day. It was just incredibly close and loud. Was the window was, open? The window wasn't even open. Oh, jeez. It was so bright and it was so loud, it just shook the house. That's like, wild. I mean, it was big. It was a big bang that this thing made. It's huge. My house is literally just on the other side of those trees. So. Yeah. But yes, here it is. So blew the outer bark right off, it curled up. And then the second layer here, it is all cracked. And then the inside of the tree is actually cracked too. So I don't think this tree is going to live, but you never know. A lot of the leaves are yellow on it. So pretty wild, eh? Yeah, I think we might lose that for next year, I think, Mark. Well, thank God tomorrow's National Tree Day and I can get you a new one. There you go. I'm going to go pick up two new trees tomorrow. Maybe we can plant them over here or something. All right. All right, how was that? Well, honestly, I was pretty surprised when it went up. I actually thought you had the wheels off the ground, <laughs> and I was kind of bracing myself. It's pretty powerful, Mark. Well, oh, also, this one's 200 horsepower. So the last one came, I believe, 174, and then I bumped it up to 200. But this one comes stock for 200, so. Did you actually have it to the floor? That was to the floor. It was. Four by four to the floor. Okay. So I think if I put some racing slicks on this, it might wheelie. I don't know. Uh, it was pretty wild. <laughs> All right, let's fire up that bike. We'll head down the track, do some motos since it's been so long. Good so far, it's weird with all the 
me how it feels to be back on the bike again, Mark. <laughs> it's good, actually. Uh, it doesn't actually feel like I left, you know. Um, I haven't rode it at all. Obviously, I've done some burnout videos with it, but I haven't actually been on the track in 11 months, so since last October. Um, obviously, the track needs some maintenance. I did take care of it a bit through the summer, but we've had weddings on weddings the last few weeks, so I haven't been able to do anything. But I think I'm going to come down here once we're done and uh, cut some lawn, and then maybe this week I'll till it. I usually like to till it once it's a little more damp. Um, you can till it now, but basically it just turns into like a flowery substance. So because every time it rains, all the dirt comes off that top field, kind of comes through here and heads to the river. So it's very like a silty, I don't know, sometimes you get really good dirt and then sometimes you get this like powdery stuff. So when it dries out, it's definitely tough to ride in because it's like riding in flowers. So I think we'll finish off with a few wheelies here and then uh, We'll grab the lawnmower and uh, cut some cut some weeds. And what are you doing over here? I see all these uh, piles uh, uh, dumped here. So basically, the other guys that bring their kids down, they wanted to fill in that jump, but I like it. I like gaps, right? You know, tabletops are for beginners and obviously kids. So, but uh, for kids to learn, they got to hit a tabletop first, then you take the dirt out, and then it's a gap. So. I said, well, you can't change my jump, but if you want to build a tabletop beside my gaps, that's fine with me. So they're going to put that dirt actually, I believe on the other side. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> of course I'd like to hit those jumps right now, but it's impossible because there's piles of dirt everywhere. So uh, definitely next time, but uh, all right, let's uh, wrap up with some wheelies and endos. I'll try not to flip over my handlebars. Okay, that's a wrap. Yeah, let's go grab the lawnmower and uh, do some lawn cut. All right. all right. So, Mark, I went to sit down and take a look. Look at all these burrs all over me. So I got to take them off before I uh, sit down in the car here. Whew! Just getting her cut here. She's definitely a team effort to keep this uh, up, keep this track in order. That's for sure. I got my five-year-old Team LTD work hat. Uh, yeah. So Ty's gonna come groom it up on Friday. I just wanted to test it out today. He's gonna turn all this dirt into some jumps. I'm just gonna trim the edge of the track right now. I'm not doing the lawn over there. I'll do that later, but we'll get her back into order and then uh, do some fall riding. It's nice in the fall and spring to ride because the, the, uh, the dirt's always a little more moist. So let's get her trimmed up here and then we'll get out of here. Here we do. Oh, 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 time to get out of here. I went through a pile of burr bushes and I'm wearing, you know, shorts and a uh, t-shirt and holy crap, it feels like someone doused me with itching powder, head to toe, everywhere. I feel it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm at Noah. I'm gonna meet with the pastor for our wedding. Yep, getting married next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend, so. Let's go times. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed the dirt bike video. Maybe next week we'll get the quad out. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Check out the links below and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>